Sandro. Good night. Hello, 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 everyone. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome. hello, how are you, everyone? How are you? How are you? Hello, hello. Okay, I apologize. I just finished uh, with one group before. That's why I'm a little late right now. I apologize for that. Okay. Lo siento mucho, okay? How are you? How are you? Okay, good. Okay, so welcome everyone. It's good to see you all. So welcome to the intermediate class. Well, one, my name is Pedro Vasquez and let me hear about you, who you are. Can you tell me who you are? Introduce yourself, okay? My name is Walter Ramos, teacher. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you, Walter. Hello. Hi, my name is Roxana Amaya. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Roxana Amaya. Nice to meet you. Who else? Good night, my name is... Wilmer Borja, I'm Colombian and I'm tw uh, 42 years old. Okay, okay, nice to meet you, Wilmer. Nice to meet you, welcome. Who else? Hi, my name is Carla. Hi, Carla, how are you, Carla? Fine, and you? Uh, I'm fine, yeah, I'm very excited to be here. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, who else? Here, my name is uh, Pame. Nice, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, Pame. Okay, good. Hi, my name is Eric. <laughs> What's Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, who else? Okay. I have um, I have Wendy, uh, I have Carla, I have Maria, I have Jason. I have Brian, I have Alejandro, I have Eneida. Well, introduce yourself. My name is Osmel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Osmel. Hey, good night. My name is Wendy. I'm from El Salvador. Okay, nice to meet you, Wendy. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Eneida. I'm from Sonsonate. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, uh, Eneida from Sonsonate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who else? Who else? Hello, good night. My name is Brian. And I'm glad to be here and nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Brian. And Ulises, I guess I, I, I saw the hands up. Ulises? No? No? Uh, it's okay, Ernesto, it's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, good. So welcome, welcome one more time. Well, um, as I said before, I apologize one more time because I, I had a group before and that's why I was running a little late and I was like, okay, I'm going to be late. And the other group was like, no, no, don't go. <laughs> so my name is Pedro Vasquez and <clears throat> I am from Chilanga, Morazan. Morazan. Do you know, do you know where Morazan is? <laughs> Uh, no, no, it's uh, it's nowhere. Yeah, sure. Queda cerca de la Punta Chiquirín. Have you heard about la Punta Chiquirín? Oh my God. Tango, Charlie, no, no. Sobre Charlie, Tango. Despegado. Hey, I live in Santa Ana City, teacher. Ah, in Santa Ana. Santa Ana yeah. is a good. It's a good place. It's a good place. It's a very. Um, I've been to Santa Ana. I've been to Ilamatepec Volcano. Uh, yeah. Been to, yeah, place. and also to Coatepeque Lake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so welcome. Sure, I, yes. I know uh, Perkin. Oh, you know Perkin. You know Perkin. Yes. Well, I live uh, in, in Rio Sapo. Beautiful places. Beautiful yes. places. Yeah, very, very beautiful places. I, I live, let me see, like um, an hour away from Perkin. Chilanga, Morazan is like, well, it's like you go, you come to Gotera and then the next town is Chilanga. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, good. So, okay, so welcome everyone. Welcome to the intermediate class. Uh, one more time, my name is Pedro Vasquez, and we are going to start the class. <clears throat> Before we start, let me ask you. Uh, let me ask you a question. Um, who, who in this group? It's, it's. Oh, who is new in this group with English corporativo? Who is new? I am let new. Oh, you're new, Carla. Okay. Yeah. Okay, who me else? Too. Me too. Okay. Me too. Can you, 
Can you raise your hand and let me see over there. Can you raise your hand and see? Let me see who are new in this group. Okay, I can see Erika Barca, Carla Jovel, uh, Pame Garcia, good. Uh, okay, nice, nice, very nice. Okay, uh, let me tell you that I'm new. I'm new, probably you have uh, new teachers before. So this is a new experience for me, all right? So, but I'm very happy that you are here so that we can start. Okay, good. So today, what are we gonna be doing today? Okay, let's go to the presentation. <clears throat> Welcome to the class uh, given by Pedro Vasquez. As I said, that's my name, Pedro Vasquez. And this is the agenda that I have for you today. All right. Okay, this is the agenda that I have for you today. We are going to be talking about, uh, we're going to be introducing ourselves. We're going to be talking about some previous learning. And also we're going to be basically talking about simple past activities. For example, what you did yesterday or what you did last week or last month or last vacation, okay? Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> okay, so what is the objective that I have for you today? Uh, the objective that I have for you is that you're going to be able to express actions in the past using your context. For example, if I ask you, uh, Wilmer, what did you do yesterday, Wilmer? Well, uh, yesterday I <clears throat> I was sick like today. Oh, <laughs> but I was watching TV. Ah, okay. And <clears throat> all day I was in my bed. Oh, I hope you can recover soon. I hope you are good, uh, well soon. Mm -hmm. Thanks, me too. Uh, mm -hmm, thank you. All right. So let me uh, let me hear about you. So I would like you to introduce yourself. Tell me, for example, in my case, okay, in my case, uh, my name is Pedro Vasquez. I like pupusas. Well, yeah, especially cheese and beans. Some yes. fine <laughs> Yeah. I don't, well, let me see something that I don't like. Hmm. <laughs> uh, maybe I don't like onions. Maybe I don't like onions and I don't like waking up early in the morning. Uh, I hate, no. I don't like that. I don't like that. Mm, my favorite, let me see. Mm -hmm. Oh, my favorite movie. I don't think I have a favorite movie, but I have, a, oh, oh, maybe I can talk about my favorite uh, TV series. And it's Peaky Blinder. I don't know if you heard about Peaky Blinders. That's a CV, uh, I mean, a TV series. I don't know if you're familiar with that. So, but now I would like to hear about you. Introduce yourself and tell me who you are, the things that you like and you don't like, and one favorite thing. Yes, a volunteer. I want to go first. Okay, go ahead, Pame. So my name, as I told you before, is um, Pame. Mm -hmm. And I like doing sports, like running in the morning. I love to wake up earlier. You do? And, <laughs> yeah. well, I am a, mor a morning person. So right now I like, yeah, I, uh, I need to sleep. <laughs> So then I don't like eggplant. I hate that. Uh, I don't <laughs> and know. My, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go sorry. Ahead. And my favorite, favorite movie is Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio. I never watched it before, but I heard it's a good one. It's old one. It's from 2010. Ah, okay. So it's a pretty old one. Okay. Thank you, Pame. And I used to be, I used to be a morning, per, a morning person, especially from where I work, because I work at the university and sometimes I had to get up and do some things in the morning. But now, no, because right now the weather is very chilly and very cold and I don't want to take a shower <laughs> in the morning. So, nope. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you, Pame. Who else? Hey, teacher. Hello, Walter. Okay, my name is Walter Ramos. Um, I like to watch him soap operas. I don't know what, but I like it. Uh, <laughs> I don't like, I don't like seafood. I don't know, I don't like. My favorite, my favorite series is uh, Keeping Up Kardashians. I don't know, I like it. 
Yeah. Okay, okay. That, you have a good taste probably for many of us. <laughs> good. Thank you, Walter. Who else? Next, next. Hello. Hi. 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 Alejandro. Hi. Hi. Okay. Okay. I will be on three. Okay. Good night. Uh, my name is Alejandro. Uh, I like to play the football. I don't like getting up every 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 morning. <laughs> uh, my favorite series is big camps. Uh, to me, uh, enjoy the paper. Okay, thank you. Okay, remember that in this part, just in case, right? My favorite, it could be movie, it could be song, it could be activity, it could be sport, it could be anything, okay? Anything, not only serious. And for example, I gave an example. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm, next. Hi, teacher. Hi, um, Roxana. My name is uh, Roxana Amaya. Um, <laughs> I like uh, the um, uh, run, running. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like onion. I hate onion. onion. Me neither. Me like, neither. I don't like onion. Well, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> Only onion in, in, in pizza. Me oh, too, yeah. especially the Suprema. The Suprema is yes. a good one. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Suprema, my favorite. Um, but my favorite um, um, food mm -hmm. is um, Chinese. Okay. Uh, my my uh, movie mm -hmm. favorite mm -hmm. is um, Gladiador. Oh, that's a good yeah. movie. It's a good. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to cry. <laughs> yeah, I used to cry when I when I saw uh, the man fighting without no purpose, without I mean dying. I was like, oh no, that's so sad. But thank you, thank you, Rosanna. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> My name is Eneida Gonzalez. Mm -hmm. I like uh, jogging in the stadium every day. I don't like um, get up early on Sundays. And my favorite um, my favorite sport is basketball. Oh. Because my daughters uh, play basketball uh, every weekend. Oh, nice. Good. On weekends. Good. On weekends. Okay. Thank you, Anaida. Thank you so much. Okay, only that. Thank nice you. To you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, anyone else? Hello, my name. Hi, sorry. Bueno, voy a hablar. Hello, my name. My name is Paola Ninet. I like the swim. I don't like run. My favorite soccer team is Juventus. My favorite. And movie is The Hunger Games and Harry Potter. Oh, good, good. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Maria Correa. Hello. Hello. <laughs> My name is Maria. Mm -hmm. I like the music. I do not like wake 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 up early. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> My favorite DJ is Paul Van Dyke. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Carla. Mm -hmm. uh, I like reading books. I like dancing. And I like um, spending time with my dog. Uh, I don't like jogging or running. I, very, uh, I really hate that. Uh, <laughs> my favorite thing is... Um, Read my favorite saga is Harry Potter, and my favorite trilogy is Me for You. Oh, nice! Thank you, thank you, Carla. Eric, Eric Cabarca. Your microphone, your microphone uh, is off. I'm sorry. Ah, no, it's that's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, my name is Eric Cabarca, mm -hmm. and I like to play soccer. I'm, I mean, everybody hates. 
wake up early. I hate to. <laughs> I, I, I wake up very early if I had to go to work. But uh, if I had to maybe uh, do exercise, no, I don't like it. I prefer staying in my bed, uh, spending or, or sleeping. And, <laughs> and my favorite movie uh, is something related to Kickboxer. Uh, my favorite actor, one of them, because I have a lot of uh, young, young Claude Van Damme. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Good, thank you. Well, um, what Eric was saying, um, well, I partly agree with you. But sometimes, you know, uh, because sometimes we need to do uh, run the extra mile. So if we want, because sometimes we work, and sometimes because we work, we need to do something early. You, you, you are not going to believe me, but um, on Monday, I mean, Tuesdays, Thursday, and Saturdays, I get up around 4, 10 o'clock in the morning, so I can go and jump and, and, and jog for around 30 minutes in my town. Otherwise, I'm not going to have time during the day, so I had to do it. And sometimes I'm like, I think it twice, and I'm like, mm, should I go or shouldn't I go? And then they say, oh, I need to go because when I go to work and I eat, he said, uh, that's what I'm running for. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay. One more time. One, another one. Another one. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good night. My name is Wendy Molina. Mm -hmm. I like me the Mexican food. I love it. Mm -hmm. I like me the dancing. Um, I don't like the garlic. I hate your garlic. <laughs> I don't like to wake up early the Sunday. Okay. And my favorite place is the beach and the mountain. And my favorite actor is Adam Sandler. And oh. my favorite movie is Todas las de Adam Sandler. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, I have Carla Pozuelo here, and she says, well, uh, well she says, my name is Stephanie. I like seafood. I don't like a lot of things. For example, the the macaroni and cheese. I guess that was you, Wendy. No, right. <laughs> uh, the macaroni and cheese. I guess that's what she said. <laughs> oh, spaghetti. I guess it's spaghetti. And my <clears throat> favorite country is USA. And I dream one day to go there. Okay, good. That's good. Yeah, that's what we're learning English. We are speaking English. That's why, because we want to go to the States. Right? Maybe sometimes. Okay. Okay, good. All right, so one more time, one, one more, the last one, and then I'm going to move on. The last one. Well, man. Yes. My name is Wilmer Borja, mm -hmm. and I like play soccer and dance. I'm talking about the second one. I'm going to give um, dance some classes at the gym. Mm -hmm. And um, I dislike, uh, <clears throat> what about uh, people? Talking in bad, okay. For okay. from all the people, I'm a, I'm a favorite movie is Untouchable Friends. Hmm, nice movie. That's what I heard. That is a nice movie. Okay, so thank you everyone for having introduced yourself, and then we are going to move on. And so let me see. Since I know many of you, um, this is not the first course that you're joining through English Corporativo. Uh, probably you have been before. So let me ask you about things that you remember about the last course. What do you remember about the last course? Mm -hmm. Okay, anyone? I remember about the topic I mm -hmm. use about the neither and either. Oh, neither and either. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Do you know that you can say neither and either, right? You can say that as well. Mm -hmm. neither and either and remember has... that they use the tense uh, present perfect mm -hmm. yeah oh okay good yeah. good thank you thank you Walter I remember the adjectives and use them for the uh, superlative and different forms for the adjectives in sentences mm. oh good that's good so like the most I, amazing movie. Yes, Roxana? I remember um, mm -hmm. uh, I learned uh, direct, uh, directions. 
Oh, ok. Uh -huh. Nice. Oh, lo, lo, location. Locations. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, good. Okay, one more, one more. Okay. All right, so thank you for sharing what you remembered uh, from last course. Okay, today we're gonna do an activity right now. We're gonna play a game. So vamos todos, quiero que vayan a buscar su cuadernito si tienen su cuaderno ahí, or I don't know, maybe your phone or maybe uh, your, uh, your, your tablet over there. So go over there because we are gonna do a game. A game where we are going to remember, we are going to remember vocabulary. Okay, I would like you to go, quiero que escriban de la A a la Z, the alphabet. A, do not type anything right now, just the letter A, B, C, D, E, F, until letter Z. Okay. Vamos todos juntos ahí. Mm -hmm. Only the letters. Only the letters. Yes. Only the letters. Do oh. not write anything else but the letters. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you ready? Te colocaron solo okay, las letras. Okay, teacher, not yet. Not yet? Okay. Pame, are you good? Okay, since you are a morning person, I see that you are about to go to sleep. <laughs> I finished. <laughs> I finished, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, you have a question. Yes, uh, yes. We will need a space to write something. Well, yes, we're gonna write yeah. one letter, one word next to the letter, okay? okay? One word next to the letter. Okay, estamos listos? Yes, okay, do not start. Uh, let me ask you, let me tell you what we're gonna be doing. So if you see, we're gonna write one word next to the letter that we have written. For example, the letter A, we have apple. Letter B, we have bus. Letter C, what word? ¿Qué palabra puedo escribir acá la parte de la letra C? Car. Car. A carrot. Carrot. A can. Car. Cat. Car. Etc. Cheese. Okay. Cheese. Okay. Vamos a tener un minuto y medio para escribir. A ver si terminamos desde la A hasta la Z. Go now. Go, 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 go now. Si terminan okay, rápido, me avisan. Si, me, si terminan temprano, me avisan. And then I stop the game. Let me see. Go, go, go. Ready? Go, 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 go. Hurry up. No estén buscando en internet, ¿ok? Do not look it up. <laughs> Forty five seconds, fifty seconds. Okay. Object or, or it doesn't matter. Too. Verbs, adjectives, any word, any word. Finish. Mm. Second. Oh, you I finish? finish you finish? You finish? Okay, stop. Stop. We're gonna stop. Please let me let me see your hands. I wanna see your hands. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Time's up, time's up, time's up, time's up. Time's up. Eneida, 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 Eneida. I can see. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. I saw I saw you, Neida. All right. Okay. Okay. Go to the chat and tell me how many words you wrote. Cuenten todas las palabras que escribieron. Todas las palabras. Y escriban en el chat cuántas palabras escribieron. Let me see who was the winner. Okay. Solo le voy a pedir, verdad, que si alguien tiene el micrófono abierto, pues que lo pueda lo pueda apagar. Okay.
Ok, porque no quiere escuchar los gatos ahí peleando en su, en su techo. <ríe> ok. Ok, good. Let me see the chat. Let me see the chat. <ríe> It's ok, Carla. Only 10. Let me see. 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 Roxana Maya, 11. María Corea, 25. Walter Ramos, 23. Erika Barca, 15. Paola Ninet, 11. René Cantaderio, 15. Pame García, 23. Carla Pozuelo, only 10. Ja, ja, ja. <ríe> Wendy Yamilet, 20. Uh, Brian Ulises, 19. Carla Joel, 18. Alejandro Ernesto, 19. Carlos José, only 15. Osmel Antonio, 15. Eneida González, 10. Ok, so who was the winner then? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, you say, Walter, that you was the winner? You were the winner? Walter, it was you? No? Or who I was think, the... I think. I don't know. Oh, no. 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 How... <laughs> Maria Correa. Was it you, Maria Correa? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, How teacher, many... Yes. <laughs> uh, you gave a three, three answer before. Yeah. Three answers? Yeah, before. Three answers? ABC. Yeah. No, no, no. Those oh. were examples. You ah. shouldn't have chosen those ones. Those ah, were examples. Okay. Ah, this is yeah. Okay. Those okay. Were examples. Yeah. Okay. Those were examples. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. So who was the winner then? Mm -hmm. Was it Maria, Maria Correa then? Okay. Congratulations. So thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So thank Maria you. Correa. Maria Correa. Can yes. you Can you read the, the words? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, solo, solo la palabra. Sí, solo la palabra. Mm -hmm. Apple, bus, cat, dog, pen, food, good, horse, Indian, journal, king, love, mother, night, open, pink, queen, red, star, time, umbrella, work, xilófono, young, zero. Okay, can you say the xilófono? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Is that the saxophone or is it the xilaf? I don't know that um, one. <laughs> maybe you do yeah maybe you do all right okay so maria so thank you so much applause for her she was the winner yes yes good good job good thank you thank, thank you thank you all right so that was a good activity i think just to remember the words that you know and now let's move on let's move on to the next activity all right so so remember that when we express simple past, we express simple past using the what? Using the, the verb to be. In this case, we have was and we have were, right? Was and were. Okay, good. All right, for example, we say I was born in El Salvador, right? I was born in El Salvador. I was not born in Mexico, see? My mother was born in El Salvador. My mother was not, was, okay, there is a mistake, there a mistake. here. Yeah, there, there is, is a mistake. A, yeah, there is a mistake over there. The My mistake? mother, uh, yeah. I'm missing the, the word born. Born in Mexico. Yes, there is a mistake over here. My uh -huh. mother was not born in Mexico. Okay, so what I would like you to do is, can you type in the chat, how can I ask a question using was? Uh -huh. Let me think. Let me see. Can you type in the chat a question using the letter of the word was? Mm -hmm. Let me see. And I use, I use a ah. with, uh, she, he. Uh -huh. Yes. We use with he, um, she, and she. I, and it, right? I am it. Was good. <laughs> I like the example where you were, where you okay. How was your weekend? Yes, Pame. I was watching TV. Okay, Walter Ramos says where you were born. Hmm. That one, Walter, should be where were you born? See? Where were mm -hmm. you born? All right. 
So let me see, okay. Pame, Pame, where were you born, Pame? I Amen. was born in El Salvador. Okay, good. Uh, let me see, Maria Correa. Where were you born? Maria Correa. I was born in San Miguel. Ah, okay. Uh, Rene Cantaderio. Uh, where were you born? Uh, your microphone is off, René. I was born in San Salvador. Ah, okay, good. And Neida Gonzalez says, was your mother born in USA? Good, that's a good example. Was your mother- I'm sorry, but I, in, in this moment, I I can't write the question mark at the end. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> No, uh, you can you can say that you can uh, in in case you cannot type it, you can just say it. Yeah, you can say the sentence. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look at Oscar Castillo says, "Where were you travel?" Hmm. Okay. Where were you travel? Where were you? I was really sleepy. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. I was working yesterday. Nice. Okay. What else? Okay. I want to see this one. Where were you travel? That would be, where were you traveling? Where were you traveling? That is past continuous, something that you were doing in progress. Where were you traveling? For example, I can say, hey, you know what? I was out of the country. And then somebody can ask you, where were you traveling, Josh? For example, where were you traveling, Maria? Mm -hmm. I was born in Delgado City, okay? I was eating in the beach, okay? Nice. Okay, now I would like you to tell me negative sentences using either wasn't, if you are using he, she, and it, or weren't, if you are using they, we, and you. Okay, negative sentences. <clears throat> Okay, type in the chat, should, negative sentence. The, yes, the, yes, Roxana. The share, for example, mm -hmm. um, I live in San Salvador, uh -huh. but I was not born in San Salvador. Oh. I was born in Cabañas. Oh, that's a good example. Thank you, Roxana. Thank you so much. Yeah, I live in San Salvador, but I was not born here. I was born in Cabañas. Good. Hmm. Okay, I was not had a free day the Sunday. Okay, that one would be I didn't have. I didn't have, Carlos. I didn't have. Okay, we weren't able. Pamela Garcia says we weren't able to jump into the river. Good example. Erika Barca says they weren't in classes. Hmm. Where were they? Oh. They were going to the beach. <laughs> okay, Carla Jovel says, we were not born in Spain. Nice. Maria Correa says, I was, I was not in Guatemala. I was in Costa Rica, probably. Uh -huh. Reina Triguero says, I was not born in San Miguel. Nice. Wilmer, I wasn't in El Salvador, but I'm living here. Hmm, okay, I was in El Salvador, but now I'm living here. All right, very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so let's move on. Oh, there is another one. Oscar Cartillo says, I wasn't... Hmm, what do you mean, Oscar Castillo? Can you, uh, can you rephrase that sentence? I was in leave of my country. What do you mean? Mm. This is for when, when I, when I travel. Mm -hmm. Oh, so maybe you can say I wasn't in my country. I wasn't here. I wasn't. I wasn't here. I was not here. I was in, I don't know, maybe in, <laughs> in Guatemala. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I wasn't. Thank you. Okay. René Cantadero, Cantaderio, o Cantaderio, what, how Cantade do you say? Cantaderio. 
Okay, so I was not, okay, remember that when we are expressing just with the was, just was and no more, we are expressing activities in the simple past that just happened once, and that's mm -hmm. it. But if, for example, if I'm using, for example, I was working, I was teaching, I was eating, I was swimming, uh, she was watching TV, uh, they were uh, sleeping or they were eating pizza. When we are using where and everything, where working, was teaching, is because that activity was in progress when something happened. Mm -hmm. For example, in this case, for example, I was not eat pizza. Hmm. That one, eating. I, uh -huh, yes, I was, I was not eating pizza yesterday when you called okay. me. See, okay. I was mm -hmm. not eating pizza yesterday when you called me. I was eating pupusas. Uh, something like that. Okay. I was you eating... a question? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, sometimes I uh, saw so something in this tense. For example, after the was or were using a verb or were using ing, mm -hmm. but sometimes use uh, ed. What is the difference? You mean like, uh, for example, something like that. Let me show you. Yeah, walked. Could be yesterday. Oh. Like that? I walked yeah. yesterday? Okay. I was walked yesterday. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. See, I was the change the the simple, simple present. When I, when a dog um, bark. <clears throat> See? Look at the difference. I walked oh. yesterday. I walked yesterday. Nothing happened. Mm -hmm. But the other one is I was walking when a dog barked at me, like woof, 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 woof. So that means that I was doing something else when something happened to me. See? Yeah. That's the difference. Okay. Yeah. So the first one, I walked yesterday, it means like, oh, you know what? Caminé ayer. Oh. Yo caminé ayer. Pero la otra es, yo estaba caminando cuando un perro me ladró. See? See the difference? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So the first one, it was just once. And that was it. But the other okay. one, I was doing an activity when something stopped that activity. Okay. Yeah. For example, yeah. let's say I was taking a shower. I was yeah. taking a shower when I heard, yeah. when I yeah. heard the bell, the doorbell. Oh. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. See? Yeah. So I was okay. doing something. Okay. Good. Okay. And, and, uh, in this case, we are talking about the simple past, but with uh, verb to be. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the simple the past. The comparison, only... teacher. The, teacher, the comparison mm -hmm. is uh, the simple past with the past continuous. Right. Yes. Yeah. And that's why, if you see right here, it says simple past with be, was mm -hmm. and where. Okay, however, if I were using the simple present, I mean the simple past continue, I would say simple past continue with B, which is was going to or were going to. Carla, however, do you have a question, Carla? Sir, yeah, uh, the verb bark is always with a preposition at, or I can say, can I say uh, a dog bark me? No, because if you say bark me, it's bark at me because the action is somebody oh, yeah. else is taking the action okay for oh, example yeah, at yeah. me yeah. for example say exactly. look at me i don't say look me look me okay uh -huh. let me type in the chat yeah, yeah. right yeah yeah okay so look at me see mirame mirame look at me see look at yeah. me i cannot say look me Look something me. else uh, doing the action bark. the action yeah. to you so you are receiving the action yeah so bark at me so it's not bark at me. even though in spanish that's the other thing in spanish it would be okay suena bien en español but me latió me latió or mírame but in, but in english is you need an, a preposition so that you can see and you can identify who is doing the action to whom 
a quién está haciendo la acción. All right. Do you have another question? Okay. Thank you. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a quick question. What about look to me or bark to me? Why is that possible? I mean, grammarly? Is it bark to me? Barked to me. I the honestly. Dog, uh -huh. A dog barked to me. Well, is that grammarly able? Barked. I mean, well, it depends who is doing the action and the context, okay? Like bark to me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because also there is something that we need to take into consideration is that when we are using, depending on whom is saying the, the sentence and what kind of context is taking that conversation. For example, informally, informally you can hear that. You can, you can hear either. But when you're talking about academic speaking, well, sometimes, for example, you, I'm going to give you an example right now. For example, a lot of people say, uh, um, let me see, I'm looking for an example. Uh, you, you was. A lot of people say, no, 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 that's wrong. You was. But yeah. depending, depending on whom is talking or saying the sentence, you can either hear you, you was, or you were. So the same happened with Bart to me. But let me see for tomorrow, I'm going to start, I'm going to give you a clear example. So, and there is a slight, um, um, let me say, um, differences between one and the other one. And I promise that tomorrow I'm going to bring both so that you can identify both. Like okay. one means saying in one way and one means saying in the other way. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes. Another okay. question. I by the way, do not be afraid to ask questions. You can ask questions and that's why we are here because we learned every day, okay? And of course, we learn by asking questions. And, and believe me, no question, um, let's say, do not think that a question that you may ask will be considered um, offensive. No, no, not at all, okay? The more we ask, the more we learned, okay? Good, thank you. Another question? Nope. All right, so let's move on because the time, wow, the time is flying, definitely. We had just 15 minutes to go. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. <laughs> All right, so also, when, when do we use uh, the simple past with was and where? Especially when you are explaining or we you are um, saying where you had been. For example, in this case, where were you at? Where were you at? That means, what does that mean? Where were you at? ¿Qué significa eso? Where were you at? ¿Dónde están? ¿Dónde estuviste, Hen? ¿En dónde están? ¿Dónde estuviste? Like, let's imagine. ¿A dónde has estado? ¿A dónde has estado? ¿A dónde estuviste? Imagine, imagine your mom or your dad or your daughter or your son is arriving home right now. And then you are like looking at the watch and you say, hey, you, where were you at? So what would you say? What would you say? <laughs> what would you say, Walter? Um, I was, I <laughs> look yeah, at yeah, I was, I was uh, 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 in the park playing with my friend, for example. Okay, I was at the park. Uh, okay, okay, another. Uh, or any... I was in the supermarket. Yeah. Okay, you were in the supermarket. Okay, I believe you. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, it could I'm, be day, day close at 10. So. Yeah. Yeah, Show I'm me the speaker. Acting, like. I'm, just, yeah, I'm just acting like your mom or your dad, or if you, in your case, if you had a dad or your mom. <laughs> yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think that I was mm -hmm. born today? Huh? Huh? Do you think that I was born today? <laughs> Yeah, you know how they are. Or maybe you are. Yeah. And you are like that. Okay. So also when we say um, the same thing, as I was saying before, with he, she, and it, we use what? Was. And when we use where is when we have they, we, and you. Okay? Okay. So let me see. Now we're going to do an activity. I'm going to ask Walter, and Walter is going to ask a classmate, and the other classmate is going to ask another question, okay? Walter, where were you at yesterday? Hmm, yesterday was, was Sunday, right? Okay, what were you, yeah. where were you at yesterday at 3 p.m., Walter? Um, <clears throat> yesterday, 
I was uh, walking on the Central Park in Santa Ana. Ah, okay. Now choose a classmate and ask the same question. Okay. Um, where were you at? Uh, where were you at? Um, choose a classmate. Choose a classmate. Yeah. Pame Garcia. Yeah. Where were you at? Uh, this morning. Is correct? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. I was at the... I was in the bank. <laughs> Sure, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, Pame, choose somebody else and ask the same question. Okay. <laughs> so, Brian, Ulises, Cepeda, uh, where were you at yesterday at 8 o'clock? In the morning? In the morning. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Well, I remember that I was at Multiplaza waiting for the bank because a day opened to 9 a.m. So I was waiting for, for them. Okay, and now, Brian, you can choose, ask, oh, and I apologize for for the dogs outside. <laughs> it's barking me. <laughs> okay, where were you at yesterday, Eric Abarca? at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. I was at home. I guess I was cleaning my bedroom. Yeah. That's it. Okay, okay, Eric, choose somebody. Let me see. Uh, Rene Cantaderio. Cantaderio. Where were you at yesterday? at um, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Uh, <clears throat> yesterday, uh, I was uh, eat a, a tacos hermanos in San Benito. It's a new restaurant. Uh, oh, okay. The, okay. The, the best tacos. Okay, thank you, Rene. Now, Rene, ask one classmate, and that's going to be the last one. Rene, ask somebody. Okay. Uh, Wilmer Borja, where were yes. you uh, yesterday at night? 9 a.m. or p.m.? <clears throat> <laughs> 9 p.m. Uh, I was sick in my room uh, celebrating the Real Madrid Championship. <laughs> I get it, man. Oh, oh, I'm sorry for that. Uh, I'm really sorry for that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so we have, uh, let me see, we have 11 minutes to go. So uh, let's move on to the next one. I can see, uh, you know, and that's the other one. Now we're going to ask or we're going to talk about um, simple past with did. We are now going to be <clears throat> past with the verb to be, but simple pass with did and uh, i okay let me see can you type two verbs in simple present in the chat right now very quickly please two verbs simple two verbs present? in the chat simple present and a regular on them it could be regular or irregular walk run good what else hurry up hurry up please play eat come work Swim, watch, good. Hurry up, draw, go, eat, talk, nice. Make, pay. Make, okay. Okay, type in the chat, pretend, study, run, do, buy, cry. Become. Become, deny. Learn, play, make. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, I want you to change that in simple past. Now tell me the past. Type it over there. Past, now are the same verb. Los mismos verbos, pero dígame los en pasado. Okay, did, ate, good. Hmm, make, played, run. Become, become, became. Mm -hmm. Begin, begun. Play, made, good. Mm -hmm. Played it. Played. Played it. All right. 
Okay, good. So you know that in English we have, uh, in English that is a uh, verbs, regular verbs and irregular verbs, right? Okay, so look at, uh, look at this, look at this. So when we have verbs and then these are regular verbs and I'm pretty sure um, you know the pronunciation of those verbs, right? So we have with the T sound, the sound, and the sound. For example, the first one is, who can read the first one for me? Or what? the first column, the first what? column. Mm -hmm. What? What? Walk. Help. Help. Jump. Jump. Like. 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 Yes, good. So we have watched, walked, watched. Helped, Help. walked, jumped, Help. jumped, light. Okay, light. in here, aquí no se pronuncia la letra L, okay? Walked. Yeah, we say walked. Walked. Lo mismo pasa walked. cuando decimos talk. We don't say told. We say talk. Okay, good. The next one with the D. Played. Played. Lived. Played. Lived. Lived. Guide. Guide. Loved. 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 Yeah. Be careful because a lot of people say uh, played, played, or loved, or lived. Now, be careful with that one, okay? That is a D sound, played. played. I played basketball yesterday. I loved eating sushi. I loved eating sushi before. Now, no. <laughs> okay, the next one. The ED skated. Skated. Wanted. Collected. Collected. Wanted. Painted. 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 Needed. Needed. Good. Needed. Needed. For example, we can say, I, I needed you yesterday. Where were you at? I needed you. I needed you. Mm -hmm. Needed you. I right. needed you. Yes, I needed you yesterday. Where were you? Oh, I was sleeping. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. So also we have just no questions with did, right? For example, uh, let me choose a classmate of you. Let me see. Um, let me see. Alguien que no haya participado. Osmel. Osmel Antonio. Osmel Antonio. Osmel, are you sleeping, Osmel? <laughs> uh, probably he's sleeping, Osmel. Okay. Uh, let me see. Wendy. Jamela. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Osmel. Okay, Osmel. Hey. Do you. Do you go shopping today? No, teacher. I didn't. I, I didn't. Okay. I didn't, I didn't go to shopping today. Okay. Okay. Oscar Castillo. Oscar Castillo. Oscar. Yes, teacher. Do you take a shower today, Oscar? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yes. Of course. <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you. First. okay, thank you. Let me see. Vamos a ver, alguien que no haya participado. Vamos a ver. Okay, le, vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Uh, okay, Carlos José Asensio. Do you eat chicken today, Carlos? Yes, I do. No, really no. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. All right, and the last one, let me see, Carla Pozuelo. Do you watch a good movie today? Carla? Hello, Carla? Well, Carla is not there, I guess. Okay, let me see Wendy Yamilet. Wendy Yamilet? Hi, teacher. Okay, uh, do you watch a movie today? No, teacher, I did work. Ah, okay, good, thank you, thank you so much. All right, so before we go, um, let me see. Okay, we're gonna conclude with that activity today because we have four minutes. 
I would like you to, I'm going to ask, and then you are going to ask to your classmate. For example, I'm going to choose a partner. My partner would be, let me see. Uh, vamos a agarrar aquí, um, let me see. Okay, Carla Jovel. What do you do today, Carla Jovel? In the morning, I uh, I took my my uh, breakfast. Then I played with my dog. Mm -hmm. uh, I did my daily exercise routine. Okay. Then I prepared uh, my my lunch, and I I took it uh, in the afternoon. Uh, I. I went out with my best friend and okay. played basketball. Okay, good. Thank you, Carla. Ask the same question to one of your classmates and then so on. Mm -hmm. Carla, how else choose a classmate? Okay, uh, what did you do today, uh, Walter? I, uh, um, I wake, it's correct, wake, I wake up very early in the morning. I wake? Hmm. Wake? No. I walk. I, I woke up. I woke up. Woke up. Mm -hmm. I woke up mm -hmm. very early and took a shower in the morning. Uh, it uh, my break. It ate my breakfast and I took took yeah took okay. my breakfast. My breakfast. Sorry. Thank you. And went to the. I went to the supermarket. Uh, about some 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 vegetables mm -hmm. and i went to the bank uh i paid um several bills from my house okay and in the afternoon i was uh sorry i watched a movie okay good thank you all right, now Walter, choose one classmate. And now I would like uh, the person who's saying the activities that you did, choose only two activities, because I know there okay. are, you did a lot of activities, but choose okay. only two activities. Okay, Walter, ask what one of your classmates. Okay, what did you do, what did you do today, uh, Wilmer Borja? Well, <clears throat> today I didn't nothing because I'm sick and all day I'm in my bed. But today I woke, woke up um, late and took my breakfast and watched TV all the day. Okay, good. Next. Yes. Uh, let me see who Brian Ulysses. <clears throat> what did you do today? I went <clears throat> I went to I went to, to I went to the university after that I went to work and I came to my home to 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 work. Good. Okay. The last one, Brian. Right choose now. somebody. Okay, choose somebody, Brian. And because of the time, that's gonna be the last one. Okay. Uh, what did you do today, Paula Ninet? Paula? She's a French. Sorry. <laughs> I watched my class and I ate my, my lunch. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so today, thank you. Thank you everyone for having participated. Uh, today, basically what we did was a review about Simple Pass. And basically, uh, if you go to the platform, um, the English Corporativo platform, you are going to find the module number one. And there are going to be a lot of activities over there. Activities that you can go ahead and, and work on, or you can wait. So because during this week, we're gonna be talking about the simple pass with B, the simple pass with D, activities uh, to say uh, things that you used to do, used to do when you were a child and activities that you can do using wood. But if you want to continue working ahead, you can go and do the activities. You know what to do, right? You just go to the platform, you find and watch the video and video over there. So if maybe the class was not clear, 
just go over there and watch the video and continue the next activity. No worries if you want to advance, go ahead. If not, you can wait and then we can go one by one. Okay, so I guess this is all for today. So thank you so much for having joined the class and it was a great pleasure to see you today. So tomorrow, remember, we are going to be here. At what time? At what time will we start mañana? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Okay. So have a great uh, rest of the night, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 B